The single biggest thing I can do for you is to share some of my philosophy. People in this room have used that philosophy to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's not exaggeration. People have come to me and said, I need some help, can you help me out? And I'm like, well, what's the problem? They said, well, I'm in this market and I'm not getting any traffic. And I said, okay, great, let me take a look at what you're doing. People say, what markets are you in? I can't tell you. I literally am in a hundred different markets at all times. That is a philosophy that you have to have. You have to be in a hundred markets. If you're going to say, I'm going to play the game, I'm going to play to win, and I have to put up a million pages, and they have to be high quality pages if you want to play at the white hat game, which simply means you want a content page that Google will allow you to put ads on, basically what it comes down to. Well, the only way to do that is to use software. And I recommend using somebody else's software. If you're not a programmer, just use somebody else's software. Blogs, people think blogs are only for SEO. That is not true. I don't use blogs just for SEO stuff. I will optimize a blog so it gets the natural search engine traffic. But I also have a model that says this. Build a community and find a reason to bring them back to the blog site. Where do you get the content? You can either pour your heart and soul into it, as Olga was telling me. And my mother is into alternative medicine. She's got a blog. She likes to write about alternative medicine so the world knows how great it is. That's what she does for her content. But what I do for my content is I set up the blogs, I set up the Amazon sites, I set up the other data feed sites, then I have engines, I have the software go over that I told you about earlier, crawl the sites, and then publish that to my blogs. It works with blogger.com. <clears throat> There's a friend's wife that does blogging for me. You cannot always do automated blogging. Sometimes you have to get dirty and control it the way you want it to work yourself. So you hire someone to do it. Blogger is the easiest to use by far. So I do use blogger.com. That is not supposed to say don't use it. It says don't use it exclusively. Because I say go wide, because I say build multiple sites, if you've got five sites, you've got to figure out where you're going to send all the traffic. So it's simple. I set up a series of feeder sites. These feeder sites are put on different servers at different data centers across the country. They're never on the same server. I don't like it that way. Sometimes they are, but mostly not. Those feeder sites are out there. Those are more highly optimized sites. You check your keywords. You're seeing what's working in Google, Yahoo, or MSN. And you optimize those pages to be less reader friendly, but still acceptable. But you're trying to get them to take action to go to the money site. You don't think about the one sale that I can make. You think about how is it going to multiply itself, and how can I make more money from that one occurrence? And if you multiply it out by 10,000 pages or 20,000 pages or 100,000 pages, you have a better chance of making money. So when I say think big, think big. These are the sites I'm talking about. Does this look like junk to you? One of the sites built with WordPress.org and my Amazon script. It's content, it's pictures, it's pretty, it's better than Blogger, but Blogger's great. I use it every day. This is what it looks like. This isn't my page. That's not my AdSense account. This is not my page. It's somebody that I helped that's related to me. That's what the site looks like. Is that spam? It's not spam. It's there. They can click it. They can buy it. They can hit the ads. They can hit this. It's not spam. It's content. Amazon.com, buy.com, eBay, they all generate the pages dynamically. The trick is how do you teach those pages to appear more friendly to the search engines. That's all you're doing.